What's up, my LS crazy amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. It offers you some more big bang for the buck, and I do mean bang for the buck product and info. What's going on? Yeah, all right, now this is the situation today, real quick. So I'm sitting there thinking, I never did a video for installing harmonic balancers. So today's the day. So I'm trying to get the harmonic balancer on the Trailblazer SS because it's spring again and we want to be at those shows along with you and we want to, we want to be chatting it up. Problem is, if you're like me, you have a group of friends. I've probably got about maybe 12 to 15 of them and we share our tools, especially the specialty tools. Now, instead of buying like 15 harmonic balancer install tools, we only have like maybe one or two. And I had one and I loaned this to my friend Philip. So now that I need it, call him up. He's out of the country, which is fine. I hope he's having fun. Phil, get back safe, brother. Now I have a choice. Do I go out and buy one? Because it's not a type of equipment that most auto parts stores keep stock. So more than, more than likely, I'm going to have to order it. It's the weekend. So I'm not going to see it until maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. It's not an option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back old school. This is what I'm talking about. This is the old harmonic balancer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece of wood and I'm going to put it on the face of the harmonic balancer and bang it on to the point where I can get it like maybe like nine turns of the old bolt, crank bolt, and that way I can install the balancer on without any issues. And I know, I know, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, Terry, you know, that's not the proper way to install it. You know, you may damage something and, and you may strip the bolts. I understand that. I understand that. But what you got to remember is the bottom half of the stock LS engine is capable of holding 1,200 horsepower. That's stock. So the chances of you damaging that crank by hitting the harmonic balancer as it slides onto the crank, chances of you damaging it is pretty slim. So let's get to work. That objective is to hit the harmonic balancer enough where we can screw this bolt in at least eight times so we can pretty much screw it on home and then torque it down. So what we got here. See, I'm not really hitting it that hard. No need. Yeah, this is old school for sure. If you're using a stock LSA pulley and the front of your oil pan has a wire management like this, you're going to have to trim this because as you can see, that's where the harmonic balancer was hitting. Let me show you something. This is your stock LSA crank pulley and this is my crank pulley that I pulled with the Trailblazer SS. Now you can tell that they're a little bit different, the same height. So it's not that this is going in any deeper, it just got an extra groove. So what was happening was right here, this lip right here, which is not here, you can see the offset is totally different. This lip was hitting that cable, that wire management. So remember, if you're gonna have an LSA, stock LSA pulley, and you're running an uh, oil pan that has a, a wire management like how my Trailblazer SS does, you may have to either change the oil pan or you're gonna to have to trim that wire management. So I'm gonna trim that wire management. Oh, as you can see, we trimmed back that wire management quite a bit. So hopefully, that won't interact with the, with the pulley install. It's good. Let's give it a shot. That little wire management is still intact. It's not hitting the pulley. Got a lot of clearance. Clarence. Terrence. <laughs> As you can see, it spins freely, which is what you want. There you have it, everyone. That's how I went about installing my LSA crank pulley on my engine. And when a problem came up, and we solved it. Problem, solution, problem, solution. Thanks, Kev. Now, I should say that you should go out and you should get the proper, the proper tools. Like, if you go to GM, they make an install kit for the harmonic balancer. You should, you know, go and get it. But 
you know, like I was in a pinch and my buddy, <laughs> he's flying around Europe somewhere. So that's the reason why I went old school, but you should get the proper tools for the proper job. All right. And that's what this is all about. Problem solution. That's what this is all about. So if you like what you're seeing here, if you like what you're seeing here, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes. And while you're at it, this little bell, Smack that bell, hit that bell, because what that does is that notifies you whenever a video comes out from Coverman66. And I really appreciate the love and attention, and keep those comments coming and the questions, because I love them. I may be a little slow, but I'm getting to each and every one of them, because I really care about all those questions, and I'll make sure I answer each and every one of them. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? It's time for me to head on off and continue working on this trailblazer. SS because we're just getting started, we're getting in it, it's, it's spring again, <laughs> and we want to drive this thing to a car show so I can meet you guys. If you see me in a car show, come up, roll up, say what is up Terry, you know, because I'd love it, and that's what it's all about, you know. So, until we meet again, until we meet again, mm, please, as always, as always, mm, mm, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.